Welcome to Revolutionary Motion, where we show you tennis from a different perspective. If you've ever thought about adding a lot of topspin to your backhands to make them more similar to your forehands and being able to actually put your opponent under pressure with topspin, then this is the video for you. So today we're going to explain that and how, how you can actually manage to create that topspin while not changing too much of your technique. So most people hit a pretty flat backhand outright and that's simply because you know they're keeping their motion pretty simple, pretty compact, have a back swing, a forward swing and they're just trying to redirect the ball most of the time rather than adding a whole lot of power themselves. Now if we're try taking a look at how the topspin gets created on the forehand side then we notice that if you want to add more topspin, your racket will drop a little bit lower. So throughout your forward swing, your wrist straightens out and you're swinging up on the ball. So like that, you will have, first of all, that forward motion that your upper body rotation causes. And then that topspin that happens because your wrist flicks back in position. And, you know, past that point, obviously, the tension resolves and thus the racket moves up on the ball. So now we're trying to create the same thing on the backhand side. So if we're trying to hit a backhand with a lot of topspin, we would set up the same way we usually do, be it like a more open stance with a right foot forward or even an open stance with a left foot forward, doesn't really matter, or a very sideways stance. So in all of those scenarios, most people take their racket back up high, drop it a little bit, and swing forward. If you're trying to add more topspin to your backhand, you want to make sure that that racket drop happens a lot more intensely so you really get that racket more under the ball and now it can swing the same way and if your wrist straightens out throughout the contact point, you will be able to add a lot more topspin. Now believe me when I say that it is possible to create a huge amount of topspin. Okay, look at Rafael Nadal's backhand, right? He can hit more topspin on the backhand than many other people hit on their forehands. And that means that anybody can really do this as long as you get that wrist flick, that wrist motion on the swing path correctly. So here you have to take the racket back one more time, up high, drop the wrist, let the racket drop under the ball. The more you let it drop, the more it has to come up throughout the contact point. And while you swing forward, let those arms straighten back out. This wrist twist here will straighten back out to normal. That's what's going to give you top spin in your contact point. So now we're going to add a couple of examples for you to really take a look at that. Taking a look at Kata's backhand, we can clearly see the wrist bending here and then straightening out towards the contact point. Now we're going to take a look at that one more time. You can see she takes the racket back early, drops the racket, that wrist bends, and that really enables her to use a lot of topspin on her backhands here. And now you can see the whole thing in regular speed, seeing how high the ball actually bounces. And after that, we're going to take a look at my technique first from the side. I'm also dropping my racket here. My wrist drops a little bit less, but drops more here and then swings up. And then we see the same thing here when we're hitting the ball at regular speed. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you guys soon.